Hi there, it's Wednesday the 14th of April 2021. This month at Hope Hall we are focusing on Jesus, the resurrected Christ, following his death and resurrection at Easter time. And we're particularly looking at the three visions which John had of Jesus on the Isle of Patmos, which are recorded in the book of Revelation. And this week we're looking at John, uh, sorry, Revelation chapter 1, verses 9 to 20. And in particular we're looking at the different colours which John saw upon Jesus and their significance. Yesterday we were looking at the colour gold, which is the first colour that John saw, Jesus wearing a golden robe with a golden sash, symbolising of course Jesus' worth, Jesus' value, how precious Jesus is, just like gold. And today we're looking at the colour white, and that's the next colour which John saw upon Jesus. When he says this, he said, his head and hair were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were like blazing fire. <clears throat> his head and hair were white like wool, as white as snow. And of course, white speaks of purity. When I have my hankies washed, they are cleansed of <laughs> all the dirty bits on the hanky, and they are made white and pure again, it's ready for use, clean and pure. And that of course is Jesus. <clears throat> he is clean, he is pure. It's so important that we understand that Jesus' mind is pure. That's why his head is white. That's why his hair was white. Later on it said that he was like the, the sun, his face was like the sun shining in all of its brilliance. That light, that purity comes out of the fact that Jesus in his mind, in his thoughts, in his inner being is utterly pure. He's never thought an unclean thought. He's never thought an impure thought. He's never had an impure motive. He's never done anything out of selfish ambition. He's never done anything that has been unclean in any way. His inner self is exactly the same as his outer self. And it's out of his inner self that that light shines, that that purity shines out. You can see that, can't you, in people that the eyes are the window to the soul. You can see what's sometimes inside a person's heart by what comes out of them. And what comes out of Jesus is light, is purity, is whiteness, is cleanness. Isn't it wonderful to be able to worship a God, worship Jesus, who is pure and clean. We're not pure and clean. Our thoughts are sometimes impure. And that's why we need to have the mind of Christ. That's how, why we need to have our minds washed and cleansed with the washing of God's word over and over again, that we would have the mind of Christ and be pure as he is pure. What a wonderful saviour. Speak to you again tomorrow.